thank you for being here. We know it's late in the afternoon. Uh, we appreciate your participation. I have a, a prepared statement I would like to read, uh, after which we'll be available for a few questions. Senator John McGee resigned today from the Idaho State Senate. Majority Leader Bart Davis and I informed Senator McGee of allegations against him of sexual harassment involving a Senate attache. In light of these allegations, Senator McGee informed us that he believed it was in the best interest of the Senate and for him to resign from the Idaho State Senate. John McGee has submitted his letter of resignation today. On Saturday afternoon, this last Saturday, February 18th, the majority leader and I were notified of confidential allegations of sexual harassment against John McGee. The Idaho Senate takes all allegations of sexual harassment very seriously. At our request, the Senate Secretary throughout Monday investigated and counseled the attache to report the claims of misconduct to me. Monday afternoon, the attache, together with the majority leader and the Senate Secretary, met with me to report the asserted misconduct. I immediately reassigned the attache to another position within the Senate. In this situation, my first priority is to ensure the safe, secure, and professional work environment of our Senate employees. My second priority is to protect the integrity and the institution of the Idaho State Senate. The Senate attache is currently on paid leave. In requesting confidentiality for the woman involved, I ask that all parties respect her privacy. This is an extremely difficult time for her. Senator John McGee does not admit any wrongdoing. I have requested the Attorney General's Office to further review the matter. We also express our compassion to John McGee's family, and most particularly his wife. We'll stand for a few questions. Senator. Betsy. Was the attache involved a minor? The attache was not a minor. John? The ultimate result is that John McGee resigned. Obviously, we discussed the various options that were available. It was his decision. What were the other options? Well, there are a variety of options. Obviously, with the allegations, we would have uh, considered uh, an ethics committee made up of senators, Republicans, and Democrats uh, to further investigate the situation. Uh, that's the only uh, authority we have as an Idaho State Senate. Sir. Without graphic details, can you give us any more details on, on exactly what the, the allegations include and where it took place? I, I'm sorry. I just don't want to go there for the reason that it's still under review by the, by the Attorney General's office. And uh, until they finish their review, it would be inappropriate to, to go with those things. Thank you. Appreciate your understanding. Yes, ma'am. The leadership position is an elected position of the caucus, the, uh, the, the members of the caucus itself. We will be having another election within the next week or so in order to elect a, a new chairman of the caucus. Dan? Is the Attorney General's investigation continuing uh, uh, Thank you, Dan. Uh, he will continue a review of, of the situation. Uh, for, for whatever reasons, we just need to make sure that the state is protected, that uh, uh, that the woman is protected, that all interests uh, are are being taken care of, and so he'll be conducting a review, uh, even though the resignation has taken place. Yes. Uh, thank you, Dan. Uh, no one's saying I told you so. Uh, I think we really were uh, optimistic over the last almost month that. Uh, the Senate was healing, that that issue was behind us, uh, the caucus had spoken, the majority had 
voted in favor of retention. Uh, we had made our point that it wasn't unanimous, and I think we all moved on. I think we were all working well together, and uh, in all honesty, this uh, fell out of the sky. Thank you. One more question? Thank you very much for being here. We do appreciate your attention, your attendance, and uh, your good discretion. Thank you.